Hello everybody, welcome to your 4th of April reading with me, Lorian. This is going to be a one or two card reading with a Taramuka card and a Whispering Woods card. So I'm just going to shuffle these now and I'd like to invite you ooh, to come and have a reading with me. It's uh, $10 and it's only going this week, so... If you'd like to have one with myself, you can do so via the link or email address below. Alright, so you have two cards today. We've got some issues going on for the 4th of April. Alright. Oh. Let's just put that down there because it wouldn't come out of the deck. And again, apologies if it's a little bit shuffly, a little bit wibbly. Um, because I am doing this on a tripod that has a little bit of a wobble on it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have Teach and we have the Justice card and the Four of Pentacles. Now, these are very interesting in that the feeling is, I think, very official. So for some of you, this could be something to do with some, you know, some process, some legal process, some legalese that you may have to get your head around. Well, this, this is a day of karma. Now, justice comes through a lot when it is dealing with karma and dealing with other people's karma. It could sometimes be that you're the deliverer of that, which in and of itself is very stressful. So occasionally I see people going, I don't know why this is happening to me, it, what, you know, through this event that's happening to another person. And that's just because you're caught up in it a little bit. So the justice comes through with this feeling of balance and responsibility, but also decisions. You could be looking at signing something new or, you know, looking into the actual functionality of doing something that you were excited to do, you know. So it could be that, oh, what about a visa to another country? Or what about this to another country? So it could be that you're actively pursuing a direction you didn't think you were going to, but it could also be that you're actually looking for something to form a bit quicker than normal. Now the four of pentacles with this, I don't know whether you can see him, but well, you can see him, but what I see, it's almost like he's trying to cover up this pentacle. It's kind of like he's going, no, I'm, I'm hiding what I've got here. Because you can see everything else, you know, you can see the coin on my head, you can see the riches I choose to show you, but I'm not playing all my cards yet, I'm hiding my cards right here, you know, you're not going to take the advantage away from me, you are actually going to think you know what it's about but you don't know the real truth about me. So that could be an inner strength that you've got, but it could also be being unnecessarily insecure and trying too hard to cover something up about yourself or don't want other people to see your vulnerabilities and things like that. Similarly with the justice card, it could be that you don't want to have to explain your reasons for doing something that may lead you to some new contract or new job. So it could be that you're kind of saying, I don't need to explain myself to you, to somebody today. So whatever your reasons for doing something and you know your work is good. You know your reasoning is good. It's coming from a place of logic. You don't need to explain your reasoning to these people. What this card says is teach. Now this says inspire others and let nature be your greatest teacher. Now when this happens, it's more to be like um, teach others by doing. You know, teach others about you by your actions. I know for a long time, uh, my workmates never thought that I would actually escape, I suppose I should say, to New Zealand because I was in a stable job. I was um, very, um, what's the word? I was just very normal and I would kind of stay there and go to work every day and I was part of the furniture and people didn't think that I would jack it all in to fly all the way across the world. But I did. As soon as I got the opportunity, I was like, bye. And I went and did it and followed my dreams. Now, I didn't explain myself to them. I didn't say, this is my reasoning for doing so. I just wanted to go. And that's where you teach people. You teach people by doing what you're going to say you're doing. But you don't necessarily have to explain why you're doing it. 
you just continue on your path. You don't have to be so concerned about what you're hiding from somebody. You don't have to be concerned about how they're going to see you. All you need to do is know that you're doing things for the right reason today. And I think you should be absolutely fine the next time you want to surprise somebody or... You know, I think actually we're all in a place where we want to get more understanding of ourselves. So I do feel that this is going to be quite important for us to learn over the course of maybe, again, the next week, that it could be something that we have a feeling about. It's something that we have an understanding of with ourselves and maybe with each other. Because sometimes that's all we need. All we need is a little bit of encouragement from other people. However, I think the biggest encouragement will be from yourself saying I can do this I can control this and I know where I'm going and exactly what I want to do and who I want to be but again it can be very hard if you're wrangled up with contracts or things that you feel you don't want to disclose to other people or people kind of breathing down your neck because they think they know best teach by following or teach by example that they can follow that's the best advice I can give for you today. But thank you so much for watch watching. Let me know in the comments below how your day goes. Thank you very much for joining me and allowing me to be part of your journey here. Thank you for subscribing, liking and sharing. It really does mean the world to me. And again, if you'd like that $10 reading, the information as to how to get it is below. If you just want to buy me a coffee as well, you can do that link there too. But in the meantime, I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you so much for joining me once again and I'll speak to you tomorrow.